Hey everybody, this is Betty from Betty's Garage. Um, today I'm bringing you a uh, digital clock. I want to give a shout out to uh, Ken from K1 Inc. and Skippy6 Gaming. They're the two individuals who originally had this clock back in the old Java days. Um, this clock is built in PS4 Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Because they took quasi mechanics out of the Bedrock Edition, um, I had a few challenges, but I can't managed to overcome all of those challenges. And I've redesigned the clock so instead of the uh, pistons pulling blocks back to show you what time it is, I put redstone uh, lamps here and they light up to show you what the time is. So uh, again, I want to give a shout out to Ken from K1 because this was originally his design, but again, because of quasi mechanics, I had to make some changes. It's quite a large build. Um, if you want to get into it, it's you know I'm going to do a tutorial for it. Um, as you can see, I'm setting up for it. But uh, what I also want to show you is basically I've used um, pretty much the same coding uh, modules that is in Ken's uh, design. I changed up the AM PM module a little bit, and I also had to change up the entire front end of how we uh, get our power where we need to get our power to have the pistons retract and extend the way we need them to. Um, I also redesigned, I moved the power lower down in the pit so it's not interfering with anything up here. And I also had to come up with a really creative way um, of getting pulses because if I press the button and I didn't have this here, it would be too long of a pulse and the machine would break. So I kind of got a quasi mechanic going on here where I put one repeater, I'm, uh, here with uh, on one tick and then this has no ticks. So basically, um, after one tick goes by of power from this one, this will lift the piston and stop power from going through. So I get that one tick that I want to make the uh, um, coding tumblers operate correctly. I also still used his same way of he can turn the clock on and off. Right now it's off and now it's on. And you can see these two lights right here, they're blinking and they're actually blinking to approximately one second it, it, give or take you know a few milliseconds here or there it, it's minecraft and you know lag can interfere with things but um it's a pretty accurate clock it tells real time i was in another world where i had built it in one of my big worlds and there's a lot of lag in that world well, i should say there's a lot of stuff in that world to cause lag and i was in there for about four or five hours and it kept perfect time within a few seconds and as you can see when we turn to 12 o'clock, it automatically changes AM to PM too. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty simple build. It's just really massive build. And uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to do a tutorial on it. And I don't need any likes or subscribes. Um, just you know, give me comments if you want to see it, if you want a tutorial, uh, what you might think about it, uh, wasting my time, whatever is all good. And uh, before I go, because this is all I wanted to show you right now. Like I said, I'm working on a tutorial. Um, just want to give another shout out to Ken K1 Inc. He makes some really great videos. Uh, he's one who really got me interested in Redstone with the stuff he does. I've learned a lot from him and his designs. And uh, so uh, like and subscribe him if you like, because he's the one who does this for money. And uh, I just want to give him a really big shout out because this has a, been a really cool thing for me to have in Minecraft. Anyway, y'all have a really great day. Hope you're all feeling well and safe from COVID and all that. And uh, take care. This is Betty G from Betty's Garage. I'm out.